Hello students, today I'm going to talk to you about how to order integers and what is an integer. Well, an integer is a positive or negative whole number. Usually we see integers on a number line. The integers to the left, the negatives, those are negative numbers, and the integers to the right are positive. Negative integers are smaller than positive integers. So the smallest would be negative 6. And as I increase on my number line, the numbers get bigger. If you notice, 0 is greater than all negative integers. As you can tell, the number line just keeps increasing and it keeps increasing and it goes forever. And on my number line, 6 is the biggest. It's the greatest. But on, but number lines, of course, they kind of keep going. They go forever and ever and ever and ever. All the way up to a million, billion, trillion. All of that. The number line naturally orders or list the integers in order from least to greatest. So just like I was telling you, all my small integers are negative and the number line goes to the greater integers. Least to greatest or greatest to least. So whenever ordering, a number line is a great tool to use. One thing you should understand is that zero is an integer. Zero is a positive. Well, it's not a positive or negative. It's just an integer. And it is a place value because there has to be some kind of distance between negative one and one. So zero is an integer. Now I'm going to talk to you about what is a zero pair. Well, a zero pair is when you have a positive and a negative. That positive and negative together kind of cancels each other out. And so it equals zero. And we'll study that when we're adding and subtracting. But you should know that a zero pair is a positive and a negative that equals zero. So here are just a few symbols that I want you to recall from your earlier school years. Now be greater than symbol, your less than symbol, and your equal to symbol. So with this knowledge, I want you to do two things. I want you to put the following integers in order from greatest to least, and you can use the number line. There are four of them. And then I want you to use these symbols and tell me which number is greater than or less than or equal to.